You are now tuning in. You are now tuning in. The Bayway Podcast. The Bayway Podcast. The Bayway Podcast. The Bayway Podcast. Okay, Will Smith is back in the news. Not about his entanglement with Jada. <laughs> um, that was funny. The whole drama. That was funny how how she called that in an entanglement, and it, it just the the um, social media just ran with it and just put that that family on blast. I uh, know all their secrets out of the <laughs> open. <laughs> um, that meme with. With Will's face, just give it, just gave it away that he was hurt by that whole situation. Mm-hmm. There's like, well, I no, don't blame him, you know. I mean, there's <laughs> so much history in that relationship. Yeah, they've been together a long time. Long, long. time. You know, Jada was also supposed to be with Tupac. Really? Wait a minute. Yes, I remember that. Uh huh. Wow. <laughs> Jada was supposed to be with Tupac. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, back to Will Smith, though. Uh, we're not talking about the really you want to get into the entanglement. That's already a story that's been done. Uh, we want to talk about his special that's going to be on HBO in a few days. Mm-hmm. He's bringing back the Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. <laughs> uh, I really hope it does good. Yeah. Because if you if you think about it, all the the shows. That come up with reunions like Full House, uh, like Saved by the Bell. They're all flops. Yeah. They they, they weren't the greatest really show at all. Well, well, I mean, if I think if it's just like a one time, you know, like a one time reunion episode, I think it would be really good. But do you but don't know bring if, it a series. if it's a series or I don't know. just an episode, reunion episode? I don't know. Yeah, All I'm, I know is it's going to be on F- HBO, no. I believe, on the 16th of September, mm-hmm. which is a, a few days from now. Um, one thing I do know is Will Smith had an amazing career in his um, with his music did good, yeah. but he was really known for his acting skills, his yeah. sitcom, his movies, mm-hmm. um, all, all the the roles that that he was given was yeah he, mm-hmm. he appreciated it very well. He's really talented. So ha- being on the tail end of his career because you haven't seen him in much things anymore, um, I really hope this isn't a flop because mm-hmm. I don't want people to remember. Will Smith is having a someone that as a person that just tried to do something again and and it failed because mm-hmm. you know sometimes um, when you're in entertainment you can have an amazing career but then have a like a like a shitty ending then everyone remembers for the shitty ending of your yeah, career and course. doesn't and, remember and the not, good stuff yeah I mean, they'll remember it when you down the road but like mm-hmm. for that moment yeah why is it like that though like. Why do people always remember the bad? Uh, rather that than, you social know. media. Well, when when you think about social, what goes viral yeah. most of the time? Bad stuff, yeah. controversial stuff. That's why people want the gossip. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> but I I I really want um Family Matters to have a reunion. With Urkel. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's just nostalgic, you know, watching them, watching that show, you know, growing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You were talking about some some other shows, like Sister, Sister being on Netflix? Yeah. Sister, Is it all Sister, the old Sister, stuff, or are they it, having a reunion? No, no, no. It's, it, it's all the old stuff. Like okay. the old episodes. Even um, Moesha with Brandy. Uh-huh. <laughs> It's on it's on Netflix right now too. I haven't seen it yet, or I haven't rewatched it yet, but I want to. I never got into Sister Sister or Moesha. Uh, I've watched them. Mm-hmm. I watched the episodes. Um, I remember what's his name from Immatures on it. Yeah. Um, on Moesha. Yeah. I forgot his name. Um, but I know exactly who you're talking about. Um, that guy from Immature that. His bro- his brother's a Marion. What's what's his name? Was it did he go by Batman? No, that or was that not Batman in the mature? No, I don't think 
Marcus Houston. There, there you, you go. go. Yeah, yeah. Mar- I, yeah. Marcus Houston. Yeah. His name. With his braids. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> on that show. He was so young back then. This was something I wasn't going to bring up during this episode, but you know Marcus Houston just got married? Mm-mm. He got married to, I believe, a 19-year-old. What? Really? Mm-hmm. She's a really pretty girl, but still, 19-year-old. Dude, he's like our age. Yeah, in late 30s. What the? Well, I guess if they have a connection, and they have a connection regardless of age, you know, more power to them, but I don't know. (laughs) Uh, You know, Dwayne The Rock Johnson, The Rock, Mm -hmm. in one of his um, phrases, or not phrases, but words that he says all the time is in the dictionary now. Jabroni. Really? Uh Uh-huh. And what is the meaning? Uh, so their their definition of jabroni is stupid or foolish. Uh, to to call someone stupid or foolish, you call him a jabroni. That's so weird. I'm like <laughs> the rock. I'm like one of its words. I I remember when I remember when they first brought bling bling into the dictionary. I was like, really. I know. I was like, you don't I need a. They... You can leave it as slang. You don't really need to bring that into the dictionary. Mm-hmm. Look, like that, that, that catch, that slang of saying bling bling is rarely ever used now. Yeah. Uh, I've, if, if people say bling bling, they don't say it around. Yeah, bling bling reminds me of like 2000, 2001 when cash like money. cash money. <laughs> that came out, you know, that song came out and how it was, you know, a every, like, a everyday slang lingo, mm-hmm. but I haven't even heard it recently. Wait, someone get a, a earring or a, a new watch or yeah. some type of jewelry or diamonds. Oh, you got that new bling bling. <laughs> uh, you got that bling bling. <laughs> where, um, where you grew up, Rachel grew up in, in Guam. Mm-hmm. Did they say that out there? Yeah, they did. When Maybe. it was, of course, and listen, that's what I was yeah, saying. Yeah, when like the, the song was popular. 2000, 2001, mm-hmm. that's when they, you know, we, we yeah, we say it a lot back then. You know. I find it funny how they, some words that are commonly used at that, at a certain time, um, a point of time in whatever, a generation or um, a decade, that, always goes away and, and like for example um bling bling jabroni what's another one that uh, that's that went into the dictionary recently do you know any on top of your head um, not really I, 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 yeah I, I, i'm like drawing a blank right now but like to me those are just um like catch phrases that or or like catch words that eventually go away yeah and like because like they're hot for that moment and they they have a definition to them doesn't mean they need to go into dictionary i know dictionary is supposed to be like for everyday use of words mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but there are some words in the dictionary or like from like past decades too yeah but yeah there's a lot of words I, like when you look at the dictionary yeah, like, um, um, or when you look at the, the spelling bees, when they, <laughs> what is the origin of that word? Um, when was that word cre- or like created and they, mm-hmm. they tell you, and then the kid will... Use it in a sentence. Yeah. <laughs> the, um, that one, oh, why is my phone telling me to restart? I don't want to restart. That one kid that, um, that went viral. It it was like years ago, for for um, for at the spelling bee when he spelled knee guys. <laughs> you remember that? Knee, uh, vaguely. It was a white boy spelled knee guys. It, it's it's not like um, urban slang niggas. It's like knee guys. I was like, w- what was the meaning of it? I don't remember. Oh. But um, but just with that saying though, that that was. That was funny, cause uh, that that was at a time that where um, 
or or white white folks were getting like bashed for for using the N word, and then that that came that out. Thing. Oh, mm -hmm. Did it go viral, or was it just in the news? It was it was viral. Oh, it was right. it was on like YouTube viral type stuff. Mm -hmm. Kind of like um, there was another one that that was that was like very racial on South Park. I forgot what that one was, but it was Which uh, one um, the, the word that Cartman used. No, it was on it was on Wheel of Fortune. It was a Wheel of Fortune skit that they had. I forgot what the phrase was, but that was like that went viral when that when that episode went out. Oh. <laughs> um, with a man in Vegas, he came across a property recently. Uh, he, he buys fixed rubbers, fixes them, and resells them. Mm -hmm. He bought this ran down home. Um, it was an abandoned home. It was at an auction. He bought it for like 10000 or something like mm -hmm. that. And w all the backyard was full of like debris and leaves and all that stuff. And when he started cleaning everything, there was like almost like an Olympic sized swimming pool in the back. Oh, wow. So it was just covered with all that. And all that debris and leaves yeah. and dirt. Nice. So when he cleaned, he's still working on the house. But once he found out that um, there was that swimming pool in the back, mm -hmm. that was the first thing he worked on instead of working on the house. Because he, he said, I want to go swimming while the house gets fixed. I'm like, I would too. Uh, that was, yeah. It was like coming across a gym like that, just buying a house for $10,000 and finding out you have like an Olympic size swimming pool in the back. Yeah, nice. Even though well, it's like it's, nothing it's, fancy, it's, it doesn't have like water features or anything like that. Yeah, it's just a, a pool. Basic pool. Mm -hmm. Is he planning like on like living in that house or he's a house flipper so I'm pretty sure he's, he's gonna, gonna eventually sell, sell it. it oh okay but he definitely wanted to take advantage of that before selling mm -hmm. it did you did you hear about the new Walmart um not app but a subscription that they're gonna do yeah I heard about that it's gonna be like Amazon like similar to Amazon yeah so right? it's cheaper than Amazon so the the Walmart subscription ends up being ninety eight dollars a year. Mm -hmm. uh, with Amazon Prime, it's one hundred nineteen dollars a year. So you're saving in that way mm -hmm. as well. It doesn't come with any streaming streaming service or like um, shows that are only made for Amazon Prime. So that's that's one of the disadvantages. Yeah, that's a disadvantage of it. What you do have advantage of is. There's over, they say over 600,000 items that you could purchase and have it delivered to your doorstep that same day. Oh, nice. And they're, what they're doing is they're giving you um, discounts to certain items as well. Mm -hmm. And they're also giving you access to um, inside the Walmart stores, which is called Grab and Go. So basically, if you're subscribed to this $98 subscription mm -hmm. thing, you go into the Walmart, there's going to be a part in the Walmart app that you just scan the items inside of a Walmart and you walk out. You don't have to deal with any cashiers. You don't have to deal with anything. You just show, show that security person in the front that you've purchased the items. Uh -huh. So uh -huh. that's an advantage. You don't have to deal with lines or anything like mm -hmm. that. Especially for areas that have like super busy Walmarts, yeah. I see that being like pretty effective. Yeah. Oh, nice. At the same time, I see a lot of people stealing stuff, hiding it in between um, other items. Yeah. Yeah, it happened. <laughs> yeah, we were just at Walmart today, and it was crazy. I I don't know if it's because it's Saturday, but. It was just chaotic, even just like trying to find parking. It was mm -hmm. like people people constantly walking everywhere and you know, like people blocking the way and it's just yeah, it was a mess. So I see how that can be effective, you know. Mm hmm Yeah. And having it same day delivered to your house is great. Yeah. If you don't want to leave your house. 
I, I know Amazon has something like that, like like with their grocery program and all they, that. I think they have um, certain locations that you can mm-hmm. do that for grocery, mm-hmm. where you go and you just, you know, like pick up or, you know, scan your items and stuff like that. Oh, but yeah. Are, are you stuff. talking about their store? Yeah, the, the Amazon store, like yeah, where you get to walk in. Yeah, don't they? Have yeah, those they ones? they had a um, well, they have one in their their home headquarters state, which is Washington State. They had one in San Francisco, where we're a couple blocks away from um your old office. Oh, oh, they did have one. Mhm. Where you walk in there, you just scan your yeah. items and you walk out, and it charges when you walk out. Yeah. They had that over there. Mm. And. I don't know if they had it in New York, but I know they were testing it in big major cities. Mm-hmm, to see if it's effective. No, but what I was talking about is ordering Amazon online. They have oh, certain yeah. grocery items that get delivered the same day. Mm-hmm. They they currently do that, but like having the, like access the, like to the it over. Ones? I think so. Yeah, like fruits, vegetables, mm-hmm. stuff like that, produce. But I like the fact with Walmart, you get to you get over six hundred items, and what if they have a TV in their store, all the way up to yeah, um, anything dishes that you need to buy, or forks mm-hmm. or spoons if they have it in their store, mm-hmm. that will be de- at your local store that will be delivered that same day. Yeah, which is I find that pretty cool. Mhm, and it's not bad too. You said ninety nine, right? Ninety eight, almost ninety nine. Ninety eight. But um. I don't think I'm going to hop on it right away. Um, I want to see how it... Work out their yeah. kinks and stuff like that. Yeah, because, you know, it's always chaotic in the beginning. There's always a lot, of, a lot of trial and error. Did you hear about the new Google campus they're building in um, Mountain View? Mm-mm. Okay. For those who don't know, Mm-mm. since... Um, me and Rachel are from San Francisco originally. Um, the the Apple campuses and the Google campuses and the Facebook campuses are these group of large buildings where all their employees work at. And their employees get all these perks, as in free food, free gym. Mm-hmm. Um, they have health care on staff um, for for more discounted prices with their insurance. They have um, just all these perks. It's like yeah. a playground for adults other than the work they have to do. Yeah. So this new campus that they're building is they're trying to incorporate the public. Oh. So they're, they're making, they're building this fancy um, workspace buildings for their Google employees. Also, they're building... Um, homes and apartments in that same area that you could purchase or rent. Mm -hmm. Um, Restaurants that are for the public, um, event space that's for the public, parks for the public. It's not just for Google employees. It's trying, they're trying to build a community. Like a community. Mm -hmm. I think think that's pretty tight. Because you know like how when we're living over there, if we wanted to go to a Google campus or uh, Facebook campus, Apple campus, we would have to know someone that works yeah. there.